guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're hopping into the 16th episode of the fourth season of Smallville Lucy. Last time um, Smallville went to China and we got another stone. So now we have two stones. Or at least we know where they're at. Um, so now Lex, Jason, Lana and Clark are all going after these stones and Isabella as well, but Isabella's and Lana, so, you know. Uh, so that was kind of cool how, how, like, everybody's kind of converging on it. And then, um, of course, Isabella was the one that finds the stone, and Lana and Clark kind of uh, fight, it, fight it out, and then, like, they grab the stone, and that, like, gets uh, Isabella, like, out of Lana, for the moment and then somehow Jason ends up with it so Jason has one of the stones Clark has one in that little room and then the transference stone was with Margot Kidder or Bridget Crosby and but she has been basically wiped off the face of the planet no one seems to know who she is she doesn't exist so someone did something to get this stone because she had it at the end of transference. So at least we know where two of them are at. The third one's a mystery. And of course they did have to say goodbye to Christopher Reeves. I think it looks like earlier in the year that's when Christopher Reeves had passed away. So they had to kind of wrap it up and I thought they did it in a very respectful way, in a very good way of honoring Christopher Reeves and everything that he was and is to Superman and the lore of him. So yeah, so moving forward, we I'm excited to see where this goes. I'm still confused as to when the stones got here, why they're here. They were meant for Clark, so why are they hundreds of years ago? Why is a kryptonite where the stones are when kryptonite wasn't there until Clark got to the planet? But all right, whatever. Hopefully they're able to let us know. So if you want to see my full reaction to this episode uh, or any of my other episodes, head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Or you can hang out right here on YouTube. That's perfectly fine. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So without further ado, here we go. We are hopping into the 16th episode of the fourth season of Smallville, Lucy. Let's go. You're skiing? Nice. Skiing's always fun. I've only been a few times, so I'm not very good, but it's definitely a lot of fun. Oh, three. I'll be like, why are you calling me right now? Oh. Oh, it's your sister. Shelby, there you are. Oh, jeez, Lois. Lois, what's going on? You made us breakfast, you're offering to do your chores, you want something. <laughs> no, I'll be nice. Yeah, well, if you were any nicer, we'd start. <laughs> oh. There she is. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Meet my sister, Lucy. She was going to help me, maybe she could crash here for a couple of days. I'm willing to sleep in the barn. No, that's okay, Lois can sleep in the barn. <laughs> Nobody has to sleep out. So Lucy, Lois has told us absolutely nothing about her. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. That's so weird. Damn. Oh, Clark. Oh, good. Oh, Lois. Come on. There you go. Funny guy. Ugh, ouch! How does she not break her hand? Oh my god. Yo, what happened here? They gotta be looking for the stone, right? Stone. Yahtzee. They got it. Damn it. We have to find that stone. No, we don't. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's important. You're right. Then whoever took the stone, they can just keep it. I don't believe him. If I'm gonna stay, I have to pull my own weight. Okay. That sounds like. Yeah, except I was not prepared. 
Is that why she decided to go to boarding school? There was no discussion. Yeah. You know, when the general gives an order, you're expected to carry it out. <laughs> Trust me, Lucy got the better end of the deal. I read your profile in Fortune magazine a couple months ago. That your theories on the future of American business were very interesting. Okay. Uh, uh, that's the guy from Switzerland. Where is it? Well, oh, you knew it was a give it up that easily. Yo, yo, calm down. Jason. Oh, of course, Clark didn't hear though. He's got super hearing. You can't sneak out on him. There he is. I knew you had talents, but I didn't think burglary was one of them. Do you have any idea what it's like to be different from everyone else? A mm, little bit. To be a total outsider? Yeah. You have an idea? Right. Well, I'm surrounded by the wealthiest kids in the world. You went to a loan shark? Damn, girl, you messed up. Day, yeah, so. that's what it sounds like. All right, look, how much do you owe? Fifty thousand, girl. Well, it's just bogus interest. What? I wish you'd just tell Lois. She doesn't have to. I knew her hop, skip, and a jump over the Atlantic wasn't because she missed her big sister. Seriously, she is in trouble. But I think I know someone who can help. Lex was going to tell you about the money, but I think she already beat me to it. And what money would that be? Uh, I nope. I'm here looking for a handout. I can solve this problem myself. Look, I don't want to have to say anything to the general about. You're not mom, all right? So stop trying to be. Damn, girls. Please. I have a feeling it's not going to work out. It's quite that simple. Put your hands up. What? Uh, it's got to be the, the shark guy. Yup. Yeah, I told you it wasn't going to work out as easily as they thought it was going to. Ow! Oh ho ho! Go Lois! Ah, damn it! Too late, Clark. You're totally and utterly screwed. Oh, let's not jump to conclusions here. I have a history of getting us out of the jams you get us into. I'll think of something. Let my sister go. A pair of lanes that definitely ups the ante. The world would be a whole lot worse without her in it than without me, right? Damn, She's Lois! Damn, Lois! She'd only like to behave herself. Up, girls. Now, Genesis, I thought you let us starve. One with a sticker is no tomatoes. Lucy, how did he know you don't like tomatoes? <gasps> no, shh. Oh, Lucy Lane has been conning us this whole time. Yup. Let's lose the place. Five hundred thousand dollars in bearer bonds. Train the trailer on Highway 54, just north of Cherry Hill. Clark. Clark, you gotta be more subtle, dude. There's only Clark. two people in the room. You gotta be more subtle. Damn, girl. I was being dragged around the world like a spare piece of luggage. But you had something I never had. My dad. I don't think either of us ever had dad. Yeah. Yo! Look at him! Nice landing, Clark. They're probably so confused right about now. Oh! Ho, ho. Yeah, it's understandable. Lucy, what are you doing? Oh, I feel bad for Lois. But I don't know why Lucy would run away. I mean, Lois is her family. Just because not you every blood running through your veins doesn't yeah. make you family. They say not everybody's the Kents. Do you ever miss not having a sibling? I used to. Until I met you, Clark. Aww. You're closer to me than any blood brother. <laughs> I hate that they're starting to be enemies. No. Come on, like you gotta put it together. You gotta put it together. She knows. He accused me of taking something that uh, didn't belong to me, of stealing. What was it? You know the answer to that question. You've turned hot potato into an art form, son. Jason T found the stone. Either you were the best con man in the world, or you were truly unbelievably naive. A little bit of both. Lana has sewn. She faked the break-in to hide the stone. You know, all these years I thought I had my sister pegged, but uh, in reality, she's a complete stranger to me. Even 
even if that were true, I think that if she called you tomorrow, you'd be there in a second to help her. Yeah, she would be. Yeah, I would. <laughs> She's my sister. I don't think Lucy's all that bad. You're amazing, Smallville. A compliment! You always look for the best in people, even when they walk all over you. I guess that explains why we're friends. <laughs> I love them so much already. <laughs> Ow, how does she not break her hand every time she does that? All right, well, that was Lucy. Let's go ahead and we'll talk about it. Well, that was the 16th episode of the fourth season of Smallville, Lucy. Uh, I really enjoyed that episode. I thought it was good. Was it one of the greatest episodes out there? No, but I think it was a good episode. It's very entertaining. Um, I love that they brought in Lois's sister, so we really do get to find out a lot more about Lois and her past. It kind of it gives you a good idea as to why she is the way that she is, and because um, you know she explains that you know after her mom died, she basically had to become a mom to her little sister, and she had to look out for her. And Lucy, through this episode, you could tell was definitely a loose cannon, and even Chloe at the very end called her Hurricane Lucy. So. It explains a lot as to the dynamic with her dad and her dynamic with her sister and why she ended up being kind of the way that she is. And I felt bad for Lois because all she wanted to do was just help her sister connect with her sister. And in, in the end, Lucy was just conning her, wanting to get this money um, from Lex. And like you're thinking that these guys are just coming after Lucy. So Clark wanted to help. And in the end, it turned out that she was actually conning everybody. And she ended up actually literally driving off to the sunset. Um, so I just felt really bad for Lois because I, as I think one of the best parts about this episode was the relationship between Lucy and Lois and I truly felt the dynamic and I truly felt that they were sisters, the way that they argued, the way that they felt about each other, how Lois had, had you know, was jealous of Lucy, how, you know, Lucy had everything handed to her and she got everything. She got to go to boarding school. She got to get out. She was a perfect child. She was the one that, you know, got everything. And Lucy's like, no, I'm jealous of you because you got to stay dad shipped me off and you got to stay with dad and of course you know lois is like and neither of us actually had dad and lois has felt like she was just kind of you know baggage that you know got lugged around the entire world with her dad and so i thought that was great you got a lot of insight into lois and her past and you understand exactly why she is the way that she is and that's what i thoroughly enjoyed about this episode um I thought this the bantering between Lois and Lucy was really, really good. I did love the twist that Lucy was actually behind everything that was going on. That was a cool twist. I liked that. Um, I just felt bad for Lois in the end because, again, a sister she really cared about ended up duking all of them. And, and you know, she's left, you know, she's left in the end with her sister gone again. And... You know, that's probably not the, not, not the best place to be. And it probably doesn't feel very good to have your sister betray you like that again. So, um, like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed the episode. And, of course, we also had the uh, other plot line of the stones. Because um, you did have to keep that thread going. And Jason and Lana are coming back from a run, I guess. And it looked like their uh, apartment is ransacked. And so, like... Jason goes to Lionel. Lionel denies it. Lionel goes to Lex. Lex has no idea what's going on. And it turns out it was Lana that had the stone the entire time and had basically set up her apartment to look like it had been ransacked, I guess, to hide the stone so that she can put the stone behind them, I guess. I don't know. So we had that plot thread as well. Um... I just like the fact that we got more Lois in this episode. And of course, you know, just the... I liked also that... I feel like this was a turning point for Lois and Clark in terms of... They just... This whole time, they, they bicker and they banter and it's fun to watch. But I do like... They, I think this is one of the few times where they actually sat back and had a real conversation. And at the very end, I loved at the very end, you know, they said that we're friends now. And I like the fact that... 
they did get to know each other a lot more and it really felt like they really started to become friends in this episode. Um, you know, and of course they had to do it a typical bantering, you know, Lois and Clark way of, you know, like, uh, you know, oh, we're friends now, are we? It's like, I won't tell if you don't, ha ha ha. Like, guess what guys, you're getting married one day, ha. Huh? But of course, I'm like, they're supposed to like not even like each other and they both like, as Lois is leaving, they both give each other very flirty looks like, okay guys. Like, you're going to deny that, that you even are starting to have feelings for each other? Okay. I do know it's a slow burn. I know it's a very slow burn. But it's like, really? You're looking at each other like this? And it's only season four. Like, okay. Um, so that was fun. Um, so at the end of the day, um, I, I think I just really loved Lois's interaction with everybody. And you really did get to have a better understanding of Lois. And I loved it. And I'm just going to say, the more Lois in an episode, the more I love it. So bring her on. I love it. So I'm um, probably going to an 8 out of 10. Um, so like, it was, like I said, it wasn't the greatest episode, but I did love the interactions with everybody and um, just getting to know Lois more, I think, was very much enjoyable. Um, in terms of the tally board, we have a lot. We have a plus one for Big Red Blanket when Clark is sleeping on the couch. Uh, so we're at 10 for that. We are at, uh, we have a plus one for Clovis ending, so we're at three for that one. We have a plus one for pseudo suit with the red shirt and blue jacket. So we're at 21. We have another plus one for under the bridge when Lex is driving his car to give the money to the, I don't know, the, the loan shark guy when they're under that bridge. They use that all the time in this show and in Arrowverse. So we're at five for that one. And of course we have a plus two for Lois punches she punches him at the end of the episode and then at the beginning when lucy comes to town um so we're at three for that one if you want to see my full reaction to this episode or any of the other episodes head on over to my patreon page the link is in the description below or hang out right here on youtube that's perfectly fine just be sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you for the next episode